Oh, jeez, that's in the way of us. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. High quality streamers. Oh, jeez, that's in the way of us. Oh, jeez. Oh, I gotta mute. Oh, jeez. Oh, high quality streamers. That's kind of fun, though. I mean, we might get copyright claimed for this, but like having the music underneath is kind of fun. Right. Like, welcome to Verizon, Verizon Church. We're so happy. <laughs> You know what, we're gonna keep it on for a minute while we just chat and talk. This, this up and running. I need OBS up. There we go. So I can see what's going on. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought it would be fun just to hang out, play some practice songs for Sunday, show off this new guitar. If you want to make a post for our story, you can. But I think just the story is fine. Okay. Let's just keep this for those who want to hang out. Alright, let's see. Can you hear this? I can hear it in Zoom. Um, I have YouTube muted, so that way it's, I don't hear like a doubling. But I can hear it in Zoom. Here, I'll unmute YouTube really quick just to see if I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. And I'm also like clipping are you guys playing that I think you need to keep that jazz master. How's it going, everybody?
it is the Brandon Lake version. <laughs> he, but he might not be able to tell because of the whole like I don't know. It sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks singing in a little bit. It's the Brandon Lake version in C. We actually uh, at the church I'm playing at, to my friend's church, we it is actually a, a female lead. So yeah, so it certainly does sound like a lady, doesn't it? Yeah, and she sounds great. We actually uh, we played. They have a Thursday service, so we've already done the set once. But I kind of kept forgetting the bridges. If uh, I'm being honest, I think it's just like the multi tracks sound like a lady, even though They're it's weird and it's Brandon Lake. It's just it's like tuned like way up, so that way you can uh, practice to it. She sounded good. She sounded great. This is the uh, the Tone Junkie 65 Deluxe plugin. I have my board still at the church. Or the, uh, the Helix patch. It sounds great, I think. I'm gonna put on... Gotta give it to HW. <clears throat> Make some good stuff. Make some great stuff. Actually, you know what? There's gotta be some free... Hang on. You know what? There's some free music we can use in here. Man, I can't listen to this song. <laughs> oh, you have the same trauma to it? <laughs> My, uh, back when I attended a church in Hillsdale. I'm also going to say real quickly. So it's the band I'm putting on is fit for a king, but Ryan has very publicly said you can use his music in your stream and they won't flag you. So that's why it's going to be metal underneath us. Continue. <laughs> okay. I'll say the church I used to go to and, uh, back where I'm from, they, uh, my pastor, had us play that song for 13 weeks in a row during a series on revelation <clears throat> that's amazing yeah i can't listen to it anymore <laughs> and, uh, i still will play glorious day you know if someone wants to play it that right that doesn't mean i want to play it though but i think it's still, i mean it works it's a good song what do you think of yeah. the sound of the jazz master which this is the new guitar in the collection right now Sound Dude, good? you know I'm a sucker for Jazz Master, man. Hey, you know, here's the thing. The Honey Bear, you can hear it first. And anyone else wants to join or watch this later. I think I told this to you already, Patrick. I have this idea. This is going to be like a year-long series where it is all about, um, like, breaking the mold of an expensive guitar for a year. So, like, it's going to be periodic updates, like, every couple weeks, maybe once a week. I'm not going to change anything about it. I'm going to keep it all stock, use it for a year, and give, like, the true, like, after a year, what am I going to change to do this? So, like, I think in a year I'm going to do the upgrades. But I think, mm -hmm. like, I have expensive guitars. You have expensive guitars. I want to, like, I think it'd be a fun series to show you don't need an expensive guitar. The only the only cosmetic change I want to do before the year is up is change the metal pick guard. I don't like the feel of it on my hand. I want a tortoise shell real bad. I didn't realize that was metal. Yeah, dude, it's brushed. It's a uh, pretty interesting feeling. But mm. I'm like being weird with my finger over here. <laughs> but, <clears throat> no, it's fun. I like it. Actually, I used my Silver Sky uh, Sunday or Thursday. It sounded great with the new board. Dude, yeah. I feel like I've honestly hit the sound that I was looking for, which is great. Um, like could sell my other guitars and just be happy so yeah but yeah i think uh i don't know i might use this because it's just fun and yeah it's like a cool looking guitar who cares if it says choir on it i think that's kind of cool i think it is sweet man i like I, I love the look of that i traded that blue gretch for it so shout out to that guy yeah but i uh <clears throat> i had a a intrusive thought the other day i'm so excited and uh, I, you, you know how much I kind of can't stand like Gibson's a bit, right? Uh -huh. Well, lately, dude, I've just been like craving a Les Paul, and I can't explain it. I want a Black Beauty with a big V, so bad. 
I can't like quite put my finger on why, but I've been craving a Les Paul, and I'm. I was just like, you know, I was like, maybe I could like trade my sir for a really nice one, yeah. but then I feel like I'd be really regretting it if I did. <laughs> yeah, don't trade that, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna like break the matrix for a second and share my screen to you. I wanna show you the guitar that I've like had a big old crush on. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I want this guitar so bad. Hated how heavy it was. Yeah, dude. They're I've had a Les Paul before, and dude, they kill your back. Oh, I would imagine you're gonna do the. I would do the Matt Heafy double strap with no complaints. Yep. So, yeah, dude. They're they're heavy though. They are heavy. Honestly though, uh, I was talking to John the other day. Um, like that Epiphone, uh, you know, Kirk Hammett Greeny. Yeah, that one looks sick too. That one looks really cool, and it's like, you know, half the price of like a you know like a standard. Yeah. Oh, I uh, if you didn't see that, honey bear, I pulled up a Black Beauty. With, oh, did you? Uh, I, yeah, I just saw on the stream the delay. I don't know if you saw it, but the Black Beauty with the big V. The oh yeah. Eighty six hundred dollar one at Sweetwater. It is Sounds about right. So pretty. Ugh, it's frustrating. But. <clears throat> I guess I, I'll try another one here for a minute. Pause this. All right, so this is my set list for the weekend. It's We Praise You in C, Son of Heaven in C, Christ Be Magnified in G, and Jesus Over Everything in G. We were joking that uh, the first two songs are in the key of C for Christine, and the last two songs are in the key of G for Garrett. Uh, so that was our fun church joke for the day. <laughs> Here's the next one. I already forgot how it went, but that's neither here nor there. I'm going to play it how I have to play it from the floor. Have you played these yet? What song is this?
Master sounds. It's a sweet guitar, man. I've just been like, I would say my pickiness right now feels like, uh, not like, I'm trying to think how to explain it. It's like, I feel like I'm micro tweaking. <laughs> That's locked with the pair. Sorry about that. Mm. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. I think that's better. Hello. I can hear you. There we go. I, I just want to make sure I wasn't clipping for anybody. That's a good song, man. I've never heard that one before. It's a good one. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I'm trying to think. What are we at? 4 15 is where we actually stopped that song. So, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, like I said, I've never heard that one before. So, that's cool. The. <laughs> I just love how we're going from like worship to metal in the background. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, like I said, anyone else who. If you are watching, hello. Thanks for stopping by. But. Um, Fit for King has said before that they are like all down for letting people use their music for free. Yeah. And not getting striked. So for someone like us, well, that's great. That is nice of them. Yes, it's very cool of them. So, Although I have a feeling if it ever comes out to copyright strikes, we're going to get struck anyway because we're playing the multi tracks in the background. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Should I do a reveal of uh, the next Will It Worship on the live stream for the people who are watching? Yes. And I'm going to come uh, after, too, so if you want to watch... What's that? Later. I said anyone who watches later, too, will also find out, since it's not a huge group. Or do we Or do we keep this... No, I think we keep it up for a little bit. I think we keep this live. Like, public after. Anyway, continue. Let's see the next Will It Worship is... Drum roll. Oh wait! I think we should wait just a little bit. Just, just give it. Let's build the suspense a little. Yeah. This is, uh, I, uh, I should put that in the Instagram post. Join the live stream to see the next Will It Worship reveal. Yes, do it. I'm pulling up our Instagram real quick to look at. <clears throat> Let's see here. I want to text you something that I think we should. I want to ask you. I forgot. I don't know if I'm still allowed to ask out loud. <laughs> Gosh, I can see my delay of like what's going on, and watching my face while I type is a bummer. <laughs> oh yeah. It's gotta be soon, right? What's that? Oh, did you see my text? Hold on, I'll say it. I'm gonna take this opportunity to tune. Get like the next songs are in G. <clears throat> there, there we go. <clears throat> All right, now I can look. <clears throat> Oh, uh, yeah, that's it's still just a little bit out. Not super far, though, I think. No, 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 not super far. Wait, 
way closer than it was last time I asked. Yeah, yeah. That'll be another fun thing coming to the channel. Yes. Another fun thing. Um, I say, so obviously we're still a small channel, still building things up. I say once we get five people in here, if we can get five people in here, I'll do the will it worship. Ooh, I think that's good. You know what I want to so, do too in the meantime? Can you, you can hear the metal in the background. Oh, yeah. I, I think I, I think we need to. We made a joke about it. I think it's time to play, just in the meantime, let's play some, I want to play Glorious Day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, where is it? I'm gonna fish, oh, you know fish it out of my. Fun one. Yeah. I'm gonna play that one while we're waiting for people. I haven't played this since I. Yeah, I think I have. <laughs> Are you, uh, do you have any chorus or anything on that? I think you should, I think you should try putting some chorus on that, on that lead line. Like, uh, for the next, for the next chorus, you throw some, like, chorus vibe and some drive on it. Yeah, yeah, throw some overdrive on that. Some fat stuff. With that nobles. Oh, my, uh, oh fat. okay. My board's at the church. Yeah. I almost lost my light. <laughs> right. Can you still can you hear me? Hello, hello. 
Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, it's coming through. I, uh, hold on. All right. Hello, hello. Is it coming through on Zoom? Yeah. Okay, I lost it because my thing came unplugged, so. A very heavy sound. We're going to go something a little less intense. And. Ah, I needed a little palate cleanser before we kept going. And we. <laughs> what up, my dude? How you doing, Anthony? Hello. Hold on, I gotta close Pro Tools really quick. All right, we are. I'm just practicing for Sunday. Took a little bit of a palate cleanser song with Heaven Invade, and so, and yeah, uh, Fit for a King is like, yo, use our music on stream. So, yo, <laughs> welcome back, Patrick. What's up, Anthony? I'm reopening my Pro Tools session. <laughs> I'm just going to jump into the next song. Opening this back up. Huh? Hello, there we go. All right, sweet. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right. We need to get Anthony in one of these streams sometime. Yeah, I've been your Instagram stuff. It's been awesome. Love seeing the videos. Yes, dude. Sorry, my Jack is having some issues, so I have this really awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, dude. His, that Jazz Master is sick. He needs to keep it for a long time. <laughs> Stop it. Put on the other music while we do this. Also, Anthony, you got that new Jazz Master that I saw on uh, Instagram. That sounds sweet. Yeah. It looks awesome, too. A little bit of uh, a yeah, little bit of a dirty pop. <laughs> dude, this is like, I think Patrick, you and I were talking about this. this is is that Deoxit? Yeah, dude. <laughs> this has been a light. Dude, I don't know. I sweat a lot, I guess, or I get like, like grimy hands. This has been such a lifesaver of a, like a spray. I use it on everything for my guitars. Cause it's just been like a. Oh. Yes, literally anytime, man. We want to start doing these. I, I'm saying this without talking to Patrick. I want to start doing these. I'm sure he agrees. <laughs> I think these are going to be more regular. I mean, like, I think it's fun yeah, to practice and hang out. Uh, fun hang out whatever practice for whatever it might even be fun to do like uh i want to make some like some memes i think it'd be fun to photoshop some memes together on a screen one yeah time. just some play harder stuff to post on instagram yes i know oh casey yep. up, man. hey i got your video hey. in the works for the uh um all those patch things they sound in your patches sound incredible the the tonex stuff i almost sold my stuff and bought tonexes and I end up going with something else because I get option paralysis. Patrick and I learned. We drove to Sweetwater from Michigan out of like a whim. I called him <laughs> like 10 o'clock the night before and we went to Sweetwater the next morning because I was having a panic attack that I was like not using stuff properly. And uh, just so you know though, I'm saving up to buy Tonexes still because I love your Tonexes. Just so you know, so you but I got video. I'm still We're holding out, man. I'm holding out for it. Yes. Well, hey, if we can get Tone Junkie on here, we can address the, uh, the highly anticipated rumors of the Neural DSP and address the... Just this big. The controversy. I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> but yeah, so I'm practicing for this weekend. That'd be fun to bring everyone along. Dude, uh, Casey, yes, I love that. Have you uh, have you seen uh, the my Veritas yet? My uh, my uh, Riverton. I love an offset, man. That's my it's my new number one go to, and I think uh, I'm sold on offsets from now on. Should should we show them the next bullet worship? Yeah, we should. All right, all right. We'll show the crew. We go. We've honestly just been waiting for like you guys to get here. Yeah, yeah. Honey Bear, Anthony, Casey, like. We'll so show you guys, the channel homies, and so I posted really this. You guys outside of these streams too. Uh, we're hoping it's real. It better be. <laughs> If not, I've been putting all my hope in the wrong thing. Well, so they just announced <laughs> that they're, did you see the announcement from Neural? They're doing the uh, plugins and all that stuff yeah, on the, the Quad Cortex. Yeah, coming out like any day now. If it's not already out by the time you're watching this, I have no idea. But it's supposed to be out soon. All right, so some of you might have seen the little teaser on my Instagram. Here's the here's the box. All right, and I'll. Uh, and by the time you're seeing this, which I, I guess it's live, so it's <laughs> I have already played this uh, in a we had a worship night at my church, um, yeah. so I have already played it and it is pretty sweet. But uh, we will be doing a will it worship on it. So here it is for those who wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, let's this... talk about. Can we talk about your worship night for a second before I keep playing? Let's include sure. So, so I went to the worship night with my wife. I'm gonna grab my stand and set the down. Just and while he's say, while he's doing that, for anybody who's curious, this is the uh, new uh, Btronics Abelha. It's their tropical fuzz. It's really really cool. Um, it's like uh, it's got like a couple different modes on it. You can switch between, um, and it's also got when you double tap or hold this down, it's basically like a high pass mode, and it sounds insanely cool yeah, it's like a psychedelic great. fuzz but it sounds super super cool so that'll be coming soon so be looking out for that i think we're gonna put that out i think next week yeah it's in the works right now now that patrick has some breathing room <laughs> you were sort of for that couple <laughs> weeks yeah yeah it was hard even just for us so we live like, at, like two hours apart ish and so for us like hanging out is already hard but yeah you've been real busy so, oh yeah Good to have you back. Yeah. Good to have you back, man. Yeah. No, I thought it'd be fun. Let's do Actually, that'd be kind of fun to talk about this for a minute. Uh, like, the actual, like, worship night. So they did. Ooh, you got a big muff. Dude, I'm a fan. I had the Lizard oh, yeah. up until recent, and I really liked it. But I just needed something else. And I honestly, I use my kilt of the fuzz now. Which is kind of an underutilization of the kilt, but, like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this... Uh, yeah, this thing sounds super cool. I'm I'm really excited to. It's it's going to be a permanent staple, but it's going to be an off board pedal. Um, I just don't have any space on my board for it. But it is going to be a permanent staple whenever I'm playing. I'm going to have this thing on here, and it's super cool. Yeah, it sounded great. You guys did. So I think the song I enjoyed the most where you use that is uh, "Battle Belongs." I thought it was yeah. right there. So, yeah. But yeah, so this was the first time that you worked. At you didn't work at that church before, right? You just went there or volunteered there. Yeah, I interned there when I was in college. So what was that? And that was your so that was your first like big worship night on staff there, correct? Yep, yep. So for just a, the quick catch up, uh, you work at a church full time, and yep. this was the first time I think in like a higher leadership position you've been part of like organizing it and like at least in this church. First yeah. time on that level of leadership for that church, doing that thing. How did that? How was that whole experience? Uh, it was fun. I mean, mm -hmm. like, uh, it's. I don't know. You always just tend to think about like, uh, you know, like what you can do to make everything feel good for everybody who's coming. So, yeah. but it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's. Uh, I mean, it felt like it went really well. I had not been to that church since like college. So. Right. That was cool to be back there and see some friends and stuff and some old, old Oh yeah, Casey the Myriad is sweet. I've seen that quite a bit. That thing's awesome. Uh have I seen that one? I feel like I might have seen that one. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, how did you like you felt like the worship night went well overall musically? Was there anything I'm just talking about your playing, not the band, not the church, anything like that. Like 
how oh, did sure. like, your playing went? How did you like what did you do to like I don't know. I obviously I was there and I heard it and I posted a little bit on our Instagram page, but like was there any like uh like anything you walked away with going like that was your big win and you know, it was like your big like thing to improve on or anything like that music wise? Uh I mean <clears throat> Yeah, I, I I don't know. I think it for the most part went pretty well. Uh, the, you know, just a couple things. Like I think, like as a musician, everybody's always just like, "Oh, I wish I would have done this a little bit better," or whatever. But I mean, yeah, I think overall it went pretty well and everything. I was I was fairly happy with it. So yeah, it was a good turnout. It was fun. I hope yeah. Cool, so, but yeah, is your Veritas nearby? Can we get a little can we get a little uh, guest appearance from it? Uh, if you give me two minutes, you can. All right, I will, I will take you, up the you, you keep everybody entertained. I'll be right back. I will. Look at this. I'm even going to do one other thing. I'm going to start talking so it does the speaker thing. Does it come to me? It is not. Anyways. <laughs> no, so yeah, I'm uh, practicing for Sunday. I'm playing at a church this weekend with some friends that are... It's a Wednesday rehearsal, Thursday service with a rehearsal before... Sunday morning and two services. So it's my first time back in like the big production esque side of a church, which has been pretty fun. Um, and yeah, so I was going to say, Casey, I actually am going to do a video about it. I went from, <clears throat> I still have my HX stomp on the board. I got the UA Dream 65, and that is really cool sounding. I just, I love Fender tones, been a sucker for them. Uh, and now, I, like I saw my timeline, and I got a Cloudburst. So that's like, Timeline's running all my effects as far as like my time effects and uh oh yeah 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 can you hear me better i keep backing away from it too i, I got this arm and i didn't i don't have a converter piece for the actual mic <laughs> piece yet so i have to like jerry rig it together but yeah so timeline is now all in the stomp and it's been pretty cool overall welcome back all right thank you let's see the boy I don't know. Is that in shot? <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. That sounded great, man. And it, yeah. it was like playing it, like just like strumming a little bit on it. Whew. Bananas. It's it's uh it's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm loving it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool guitar. What has what was like the okay? So we were talking about Lambertones the other day. Are those Veritas pickups or Lambertone pickups in there? Oh, mine, mine are, mine are Veritas. They're uh, the Veritas Bearcat pickups. The Bearcats. And why do you say I need to go maybe for the high more output than the Cremas? I never, we never finished that conversation. So I, the way I feel like the all white, just yeah, chef's kiss. <laughs> the way I feel like worship music is trending is like it's starting to go with some of that more like really driven sound. Mm -hmm. And I think like the grinders. Or even like their red eye pickups for humbuckers would be a pretty good move to move into if you were going to go humbuckers, you know. Mm -hmm. I was looking at so the other thing I was looking at, I, I posted actually in the worship gear talk page. Did you have you seen the Fat Fifty Fives from EMG before? They're like the, oh yeah, the PAF version of like an active pickup. No, I yep. thought about that. I was like, that's a that's a hot swap pickup for me. I don't need to solder. I could just unplug something and plug it back in and be good to go. It's just paying for it at that point. Right. So I'm debating those as well because I do. I miss my gym. Actually, I wonder how it would sound for this next practice. As <laughs> because I'm watching on YouTube, I'm like, where'd he go? Was, <laughs> like I'm just seeing it like a minute late. I'm like, hey, I think your mic's not working. <laughs> no, it's just me being a top tier streamer. I feel like I need to hold it like it's Let's see. God, what tuning is this in? I love this guitar. I love the way the neck feels on it. I love the way it plays. But I feel like the EMGs I struggle with them like well, either gross strings, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Um, Anthony, what brand is that uh, offset that you were playing? I saw on Instagram. 
Uh, that thing looked awesome. And I, I, I know you posted the brand. I just can't remember what it was called. Was it like Citizen, I think? That might have been it. through the softer songs and I want to hear what you think about the EMGs in this context because they are okay quite, they are less noisy than the PRS that's for sure citizen guitar co yeah yeah that thing looked awesome are they doing a giveaway with a youtuber right now I see Corey Asbury? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Asbury <laughs> and then the belonging code Jesus over everything after this. For a minute I was like I was like, this is either Corey Asbury or it's like tuned weirdly enough to sound like Corey Asbury. <laughs> Felix Native. Dude, for those chords, it didn't sound bad from what I could tell on my end. Cody Karn's version. Yeah, dude, I think, like you said, from what I could tell on my end, those big chords sound good. I think so. I, like, I feel like I just have this uncomfortable stigma. Also, it's a chip root guitar. Like, I feel like it's <laughs> weird to bring in. Like, it's just, you know, surrender. I need to get over that. Yeah. Oh yeah, see you later man, have a good night. On the contrary, there are no pedals at all. Yeah, actually, my pedal board is at the church. <laughs> is this a laptop plug-in test? <laughs> This is 
that's that one. Alright, so the last one we're playing is Jesus Over Everything. So yeah, just the bridges I really get kind of caught up in. I don't really even do anything until the first chorus. Hey, how many songs are you guys doing? Oh, what were you playing before? <laughs> I just played Heaven and Vade just to tell it. Uh, okay. <laughs> this part's pretty nice for me because I just... Sounds like Corey also. Belonging comb? Oh. Corey and the belonging comb, guess him. Playing this at your Scientology church this weekend, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What kind of guitars are you guys playing? How about you put them in the comments? Yeah. That's what you guys are playing. Or at least what are your go-tos? Ooh, Acoustasonic Jazz Master. That sounds pretty that sounds pretty cool. Core, nice. Duo Sonic, that's sweet. Yeah, the duo sonics are sweet.
I uh, I almost bought a Duo Sonic once, and I kind of regret not buying it. <laughs> Jumping the gun. I thought that sounded okay, though. Yeah, I think it did too. I really like. Okay, I'm not a big music theory guy, so if this is your D. What is? I add my pinky on the fifth on the high E. What is that? What's that? What is this chord shape? So I I know this is a D. So it's in, I'm adding my pinky on the fifth fret of the E string. You're just you're adding an A. So what does that make that D add what? It's it's still a D. You're just adding an A. Like you're just playing a different A. Okay, I didn't know. Not big. Mm -hmm. I just like the way it sounds with the high A. Yeah. Mustang number two. Do any of you guys play any uh, like non-traditional worship guitars? Don't feel bad if you don't, because I, I don't have any either. The most worship yeah. guitar you can possibly Yes. <laughs> but has anybody played anything that's like, you know, like how John's playing his, uh, his Jim Root Telly right now? Does anybody have anything like that, or like a Kiesel or anything? Kiesel, hit me up! Kiesel makes a worship guitar? Yeah. I would love a Kiesel, like a six-string Kiesel. I love my eight-string Kiesel, but man, would I... Uh... Uh, Benedetto that? Benny. Yeah. I'm not, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Because I don't know what it is, it absolutely counts. Yeah, <laughs> that's. Uh, <laughs> I think that like automatically counts. Yes. <laughs> so, John, you should look it up really quick so we can see what it looks like on stream. Benedetto Benny. Nineteen ninety eight Reverend, yeah. Okay, Reverends are sweet guitars too. I like Reverends a lot. Stephen Carpenter Kiesel, yeah, that'd be sweet. Oh, Stephen Carpenter would be sick. All right. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, that is sweet. That's super cool. I've never seen that before. Do you guys ever play around on the Kiesel Builder? Oh, man. Is that 7,000? That's crazy. Dang. That's really nice. H how long have you had that, Casey? <laughs> I really want to try a Bernie Les Paul, too. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be sick. Let's do this. Let's do this for a second. I want to pull up. If you guys don't know about the Kiesel Builder, you're about to hopefully make your day a lot better. So this is a really fun, uh, all right, can you see this? <laughs> how about, how about, uh, you know, chat, you help John design a Kiesel and he'll buy it at the end of the, at the end of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I just told Megan, like, I had to, I told him I would. I did it for the stream. It was fun while we, I enjoyed being married. We almost, uh, almost made it a year. <laughs> all right, let's do this. I had a Reverend trick shot for a little bit. I really want to try a Reverend. I've never had one before. I've never even, I don't think, held one. I think Reverends are pretty cool guitars. I, I want to say uh, that they are set up in Michigan or they're from Michigan or something like they're that. Ohio, I, I think. Are they? Yeah. So, okay, if you go to Kiesel, go to the Builder, go to Guitars. because I don't Not too long. Base. It's legit. Yeah. Um, Dude, it looks legit in the picture that we saw. That looks awesome. What color is yours? Got to be a neck through a Kiesel or it's not a Kiesel at all. <laughs> I'm going with the Delos, man. They're S-type. <coughs> Excuse me. It has tons of options. I mean, I feel like for a custom-built guitar, custom-built guitar, you can't see me. Uh, you got to go with the Vader, the one with the, <laughs> the butt cut out of it. Oh, yeah. It's a headless. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, oh. Natural spruce. Devil, look at this. A limited edition carpenter. That's really nice. Carpenter is a beast, man. But 
Oh yeah, yeah, you know, that is sweet. 90s. Those fan frets. Oh, I didn't know they were at East Point. That's cool. Yeah, no, I uh, yeah. Delos is really cool. I've seen one in person, and it was really cool. I have an Aries Eight, as if you've yeah. seen on the channel. So John and I are from Michigan, so we obviously love things built in Michigan. <laughs> yeah, I had heard, and, and people can correct me if I'm wrong, but that behind Texas, Michigan's pretty high up there for blind uh, excitement or, like, support of state. Because we got oh, yeah. the whole, like, I'm from here thing. Like, look, I'm from right here, and show you on my hand. So Yeah. Oh, that's, that's cool, man. <clears throat> you said the wired frog? Where's the wired that's cool. frog at? He said it's uh, down the road from where the reverends used to be made at. Oh, that's sick. Okay. That's cool. I feel like if I was going to go with a guitar, like a custom built, I feel like I might go with a pink. Westland, yeah. Yeah, my uh, oh, yeah. my uh, grandparents lived in Westland. I work kind of close to that area in my normal life job or my outside. Look at that. Half the chat's from Michigan, or uh, been in Michigan. <laughs> Casey, you just need to, you need to come to Michigan sometime Coming so you can say you've been there too. I really want a sparkle. I don't know. I like sparkle finishes. I'm kind of a sucker for it. Ooh, wine. That's kind of cool. We'll start with that. If we need to change it, we'll change it. Although, look how expensive it makes it. Six fifty. Oof. Garden City, yeah. Now in Texas. I uh, I lived in Texas for like six or eight months or something like that. That's uh, yeah. And I, I was there in the summer of 2011 through the fall. And I'm just grateful it was a dry heat. Oh, yeah, I know Kentwood. Yeah. Good old Kentwood. From Brazil. Awesome. Awesome. What up? That's cool. Is the Boa... I don't know how to pronounce that. So if I, if I butcher this, I'm sorry. The Boa Noite Galera. Is that a guitar? kind of weird you picked the logo in the body section what are you talking about sorry i'm still building my keys while you're talking okay people can see it gloss obviously gloss finish right. i think kentwood's by uh, grand rapids isn't it Ooh, I, I just need somebody to show me on your hand like where <laughs> good evening in portuguese that's awesome man Thanks for stopping in. This is cool. Yeah, super cool. Okay, in Brazil, that is... Is Chris Rocha from Brazil? Uh, I, I think so? I think so. He's the guitar player for Gretsch who had just had that signature come out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think it's Chris Rocha. This is a very obscure thing, and it's just... Okay, so fun fact, one of my favorite worship songs is from Gabriela Rocha. I believe she's from Brazil. Um, it is, oh, what's the name of it? Creo, it, gosh, what is it? Gabrielle. It's more like, I don't know how to pronounce it. Where is it? The try out experimental AI features, John. Hang on. I'm bringing this over. This one, I don't know if, if you're familiar with it. Creo MT, Still Believe by Gabriela Rocha. Southeast Grand Rapids, okay. So fun fact, I learned about this song in college from a Portuguese mission, or a Brazilian missionary, and it is such a good song. The chorus, I guess, with the way the lyrics are. Where is it? <laughs> you say you're trying out the AI features, Honey Bear? Yes. <laughs> I guess with the language translation, and please correct me if I'm wrong if you do speak Portuguese, but, like, they're saying now a lot. Like, we just want it now, we just want it now, we just want it now. And I thought it was such a cool, I don't know, it was really cool, really fun to learn. So, highly recommend this song if you want something new and just to, you know, experience Jesus in a slightly different way. So, sorry, that's my very random uh, side note for today. <laughs> oh, the Kiesel Custom Builder, okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe AI features can generate you a Kiesel. Oh, I didn't even see that. Wow. 
<laughs> okay, so I have on my Kiesel the maple walnut stripe. It feels so comfortable. The gun oil, I believe that's what they call it, is great. That is cool. Uh, oh, I, I, I don't mind being specific. Mind. I'm from west side of Lansing. Or east side of Lansing, excuse me. Out in that way, kind of like in the country area of it. I'm out towards uh, Kalamazoo area. Yeah. So right where the Heritage Factory and stuff like that is, yep. Mm -hmm. And for me, nothing. <laughs> I feel like we should do a, a little segment on here and be like, see what uh, see what AI can generate for guitars. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not Tell sure. AI to make you a custom guitar. You're the you're the AI expert. If you want to share your screen and do that, the, <laughs> so hardly Patrick the Patrick is trying to keep in the good graces of AI. Anytime he talks to AI, he says please and thank you. I so do. I feel like out of for respect for everyone, he should be the one who chose the AI to do something for us. All right, all right. If AI takes over like Skynet, it's going to be Patrick who saves us all. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so is it pulling up there? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, I see your screen. <clears throat> I feel like, uh, don't mind Pro Tools. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing, Casey. I'm just. What? He said POV. John takes his silver sky and puts a Kiesel headstock. Uh. <laughs> I, you know, I was gonna add. Did I just get rid of it? Like a putz? I was gonna add single you coil. Putts. I am a put. Listen, man. I actually, if I was gonna do a, a custom build at this point, it would be a Balagir. I think I'd do a Balagir. And because it's AI, we say please and thank you. Yes. All right. When they take over, they won't kill me first. Yes. Let's see. Wow, yeah. Very specific. <laughs> Choose a body shape that fits your aesthetic and comfort preferences. Maybe ask it, say, thank you for the first round of advice. What would you do for specific, uh, like, customizations, maybe? I want it to build, if we can get it to build a guitar, we can build it on Kiesel, and then Patrick will buy it at the end of the stream. <laughs> what did you, you say to ask got, it? Yeah, you're, you have uh, big check energy now. Because you have, yeah. all this, you have all this money coming in, you said you're gonna buy it for me. That was super kind of you. Oh right, right. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know what big check you're talking about. I work at a church. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, what did you say to what you say to tell it? Ask it to customize one specifically. Like what what specifications would it want or whatever? Customize. Yeah, can you customize it? Don't mind my spelling. <laughs> Let's see what it thinks. And real quick while it's building, Casey, I think you're talking about this headstock, right? <laughs> this would be my Kiesel. So... <laughs> A sleek modern take on the classic Stratocaster shape, crafted from lightweight alder and a balanced tone and comfortable playability. Slim flat, s slim. F <laughs> I don't know why I was such <laughs> slim fast. I just think of like the weight loss drink. <laughs> slim hard. fast playing maple deck with a satin finish for smooth movement along the fretboard. Modern C shape. Okay. Standard fender scale length. Fretboard. Oh. Okay, Ebony. Pickups, custom set of Seymour Duncans. Man, AI is basic. Yes. From a little bridge. High quality locking tuners. Okay. Okay. Graph Tech Tusk. Okay, so all right, we got something here. What is the the body it said? Alder. Alder body. I'm gonna bring this over while you read it off to me. We're gonna just build this real quick. Yeah, let's see what this looks like as a keysel. Alright, so build it all right, what's the body? <laughs> Alright. Alder. All right. Okay, neck is a modern C-shaped profile. Oh, 
what, how many pieces of the oh, wood? Oh, sorry, it's a strat-shaped body, too. Sorry. Yep, I got one. Okay, modern C-shaped profile for optimum comfort and uh, agility. Does it have, like, a neck wood? Uh, maple neck. Maple neck, all right. Scale length is 25 and a half inches. Okay. Ebony what fretboard. All right, I already got it. What color? Okay. What, what color ebony? I would, I would just assume no, I don't he... No, what color body? Oh, sorry. Body is transparent sapphire blue. Very specific. It says that oh, showcases that the wood grain. Transparent sapphire blue. We have that. All right. All right. Uh, top coat with a satin or gloss? Gloss finish. Gloss finish. Okay. And satin finish on the neck. All right. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So you could share yours and we could see what this guitar looks like. <laughs> oh, you can see it on, uh, do it on YouTube. I have it pulled up for the oh. players right now. For the people on the stream. All right. Uh, neck wood, fretboard wood. I need that. I want less color variation, ebony. So, and then it was an HSS, right? Uh, it said humbuckers. Yeah, Seymour Duncan humbuckers. Oh, so it was two humbuckers. Yeah. I can't pick anything outside of Kiesel, so we'll just keep those as is. Essentially, this is what it picked. <laughs> this is uh, Chad GPT's guitar, everybody. How about <laughs> we do this to it to make it a little better? If we do this. Seven strings. With the headstock shape. Already instantly better, and it's the wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, allergies, man. Oh, there we go. Got it. All right. Well, that's ChatGPT's slightly modified guitar, if it played in corn. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. That's funny. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot to tell it thank you. Now it's going to kill me. Yep, now you're part of the problem. I feel like I have enough practice for tonight. <laughs> I'm going to have to practice again. Yeah, I just, man, I for, keep forgetting the, the, like I said, the the bridges of, like, the last song. And it's, I don't know if you ever feel this way or if you guys ever feel this way. Sometimes when it comes to, like, playing rhythm guitar and it's, like, more generic major chords or, like, you know, open chords, I tend to get them a little more confused than I do a lead line. Like, I feel like a lead line in a song is a little easier for me to remember than, like, a rhythm section because it's just repetitive. I don't know. Sometimes I get, like, bored or I get a little, not bored, I get a little, like, overzealous with my playing and I start, like, skipping ahead. I don't know. I just am impatient, maybe. But I have the hardest time remembering, like, four chord moments. Oh, yeah. You have a good night, too, man. Have a good night. John takes his Silver Sky and put a Kiesel headstock and humbuckers on it. Plus $1,000, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just saw that. Oh, it's fine. But, well, friends, I think we're going to take a note out of Casey's book and potentially call it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Yeah, uh, Yeah, you guys, thanks for coming by. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. We're going to try and do this more often. Hang out more. Do this. Practice. Yep. Maybe learn some songs from you guys. Request, try and play a song on the fly. Who's to say? So, yeah, keep an eye out for it. That was fun. Yeah, thanks for coming again, Honey Bear. We appreciate it. Yeah. Good seeing you around again. Definitely come to the next one. So, oh, yeah, nice. What kind of, uh, what's the electric guitar you guys could, if you could pick one up right now, what would be the one you'd get? Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, before we leave, we'll just do that. What's the, I hear the last, what guitar? If you what's the, pick? if you can get any electric guitar right now, what would you get? And then we'll go to bed. <laughs> I got a Saturday shift tomorrow, so. Oh, man. The jazz and your master. jazz master. Yeah, I would do jazz yep. master. Custom shop, not custom shop. I would do the mod shop. 
and I would get a jazz master from there so I could pick out my my woods and my color. You can do that with custom shop too. Yeah, but mod I think that's the whole point of the custom the shop. Mod shop. So okay, you know what? We were gonna leave, and now we're gonna do this. <laughs> Look how much more affordable though. It's way more in my price bracket. <laughs> Bender Telly Deluxe with a Ooh, Bigsby. Solid yep. option. Great choice. Honestly, it wouldn't be too different than what you just saw on my. Uh... How much are the ones from the mod shop? Less than, way less than <laughs> the other one. It would look pretty similar to this. Honestly, I just want a tortoise shell pick card. I'm a sucker for it. And I would probably do the. What's that body color? Olymp it's the it's the same it's one as Olympic the Master. Yeah. It just looks weird in this color. Attention. Um Yeah, plastic bits, I do that. Fingerboard. I think I do rosewood. I like rosewood. I like the aesthetic of maple, but I like the feel better of rosewood. Yeah, I mean, it would just look like this. So, this would be mine. Yeah. Pick one. And, but I would do gold hardware because I like gold way better. And I don't get to choose gold. That's the only bummer part. Hmm. And it would be heavily. So, if you bought that, how much is it? Is that two thousand twenty-four dollars? Mm -hmm. Uh, it would be on. It would be a couple bucks less, I think, if I did. Got rid of the here. What was it? I'm a sucker for a large pick guard and telly, kind of like the mic didn't base. Uh, I get to, I mean, I get to pick them, so I might as well do that. Two thousand seventy-four dollars. So, like for that price point, you can just pick the stuff you want on your guitar, opposed to just buying it for two thousand and not getting all that say in it. Sure. I'm a sucker for large pick guards. Yeah, I am too, honestly, on the tellies. I like a big pick card. I think it's cool. Yeah. Oh, Mike Dirt. <laughs> yeah, and I agree. <laughs> I was wondering. I was just like, oh, Mike yeah, didn't. Mike did, <laughs> <absolutely. laughs> Autocorrect. Autocorrect for the dubs. Oh, right-handed, of course. I don't know. Ooh. There's some fun other colors they have, though, like this... Uh, Jade Pearl Metallic. Oh, this might be the W. Mystic Pine Green. Oh, dude, I love that. The sparkle. Yeah, that would be my jazz match if I could pick one. I, I like that Jade Green that you had. The Jade Green? Dude, that was, yeah. A little too subtle for me. I wanted Can to you do a matching one. headstock, too? No. Uh. That's fine, though. This would probably be something like this. Yeah. Or honestly, if they had like a white sparkle, uh, I guess Olympic Pearl would probably be one. I yeah. Want my guitar to sparkle. Right. I like it so much. I don't really like the Mocha Burst. Texas T. Oh, that's kind of cool. The Texas T is a sweet finish. I'd be more into Stray if the pick. Strat. Oh, Strat. The pick guards were into that part. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, so that would be my thing. Yeah, that's cool. All right. All right. Well, I think it's time for bed. Yeah. Guys, that was so much fun. An Thanks old man. We really appreciate it. Um, looking forward now, <laughs> for real this time. Looking forward to hanging out with you guys next time. So, yeah. have a good night, y'all. We'll see you guys soon. Yep. Talk to you soon. Peace.